Hello. Hello. Hi. We're back. We're back. Oh. It's season two of Football Line. There's Anthony. Yeah. Say hello, Anthony. Hi, uh, I'm Anthony. And, I, and I'm Ryan, and I'm back. We're without Mark today. Mark is not here. He's not here Sadly, today. Sadly, not with us. Uh, he's not dead. He's not dead. Um, he's... he's still with us, but not currently with us. Uh, and he's not with us in spirit, because I think that's still being dead. Yeah. Yeah. It's He's just on holiday. Yeah. And, and that's not a euphemism again, like a Catholic no. thing. No, he's alive. He's Touch alive. Wood. Touch wood. Although we don't know because you know we've not checked off. Yeah, our phones. I haven't just got a photo of him with yeah. today's newspaper no. on my WhatsApp. But True. I have it on good authority. That yeah, he's just on holiday. Yeah, and like he sent at Butlins, I think. Yeah, yeah, and and he sent us a question, hasn't he? Yeah, it's a really difficult question. Yeah. Uh, it says, "How do you how do you make yeah. football?" themed theme park rides for a football themed theme park glad you asked it mark what a great intro that is to this a good podcast, question because because I... this is how we answer it by designing football themed theme park rides for a football themed theme park that's what we do here that's what we do land. that's what we do we've got and a... it's called football land yeah and it's a football themed theme park yeah that's it isn't that's it, it. Um, we put football themed theme park rides in the football themed theme park I, I, exactly and guess what what here's a generic jingle yeah introducing yeah. it a bit more jingle intro We've got restaurants, bars and dodging cars. If you're not far from Doha, come and say aloha, right and slide and so much more. You can even bang your sister-in-law. Performance enhancers, topless dancers, outrageous diving, drunk driving, stay up all night, have a food fight. You can swing on Stiefel's pole, get shot out of Wagner's or Donald's or Joachim's love got an idea for a sideshow it's called bend it like beckham nice very simple and when you say sideshow just a sideshow imagine like um it's like a strongman exhibit right at, uh, in a carnival okay when you, something in a tent yeah like when you know when there's a big bell and a thing you hit with a hammer yes or one of those big uh punch bags things yeah. um at the top and you have to hit it and then it tells you how hard you've hit it yes uh basically both of those things you'd never do mm. because there's always a group of people around them mm. sort of impressing each other mm. and they look way bigger and more muscular yes. than you why would you embarrass yourself doing that yeah this uh, is about time to tell you i once did a punchy game yeah i beat a bouncer no yeah the greatest day of my life. Was it a Weatherspoons bouncer? Because they always look a little <laughs> bit budget. <laughs> like, well, I could beat that guy. It was a it was a bouncer. He was off duty. He still had his, he still had that thing. Uh, yeah, the, the, the Illuminous. Thing his... uh, the only people that have those are bouncers and runners. Yes. Runners have them to put their phones in. He could have been a runner pretending to be a bouncer. Yeah. And that might explain why <laughs> all five foot seven of me uh, beat him. But it was very embarrassing for him. Yeah. It's that. So it's sort of the reverse scenario. The so reverse maybe... scenario. Yeah. Well, uh, this, this, this is, this sideshow is very much for those people. Yeah. Um, because no one wants to do that in front of anyone. Yeah. So this is a quiet, small booth. <laughs> Where no one can see you. <laughs> yes. Like, uh, I, I don't... I, do you know what? I've never been to a peep show, but I imagine they are little curtainy sort of photo booths and then through the <laughs> slit you see a lady. Right? So you so think... Imagine a hold peep. on one second. So <laughs> well, you think of... Like, you think that the lady... Is in so the middle and then there's booths around the circle? Right. Is that what it's like? Like a bird hide? I'm assuming so. But I thought you'd thought that a peep show was the size of a photo booth. No. And that the no. lady was just in that little bit above where the photos come I, I, out. I'm imagining, I, again, I've never been. I, I'm imagining that it's like a, a circle of photo booths. Yes. Where you individually go in. I think it is. And you look through a little slit, like it is like a bird hide. Yeah. And there's like a little poster on the wall of all the late different types of ladies you could <laughs> see. <laughs> They're feeding. <laughs> and you've got some binoculars. Oh. And then you kind of look out for any ladies that are in their natural <laughs> habitat. Oh, that's, that's a peep show. Uh, no. But this is this is different <laughs> because this is Bend It Like Beckham. So Bend It Like Beckham. Right. You go in yeah. to a like a little David Beckham hide. Yeah. 
where it's just you on your own. Yeah. And uh, it's the size of a, sh- of a garden shed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like six by four? Uh, a bit bigger. Um, Five by seven. Yeah, it's it's got to... Eight by six? Uh, about eight by six. And there's a small slit in the front so you can see. Yeah. And in the middle mm. is David Beckham in the circle. So there's lots of bird hides around him. Yeah. And he's in his natural habitat. Quite cheap so far. I'm like, I'm yeah. quite excited. And he says to the uh, on, uh, assembled group, mm-hmm. can you bend it like Beckham? <laughs> and he, so, <laughs> he has a table. Sorry, when you said David Beckham's in his natural habitat. habitat. <laughs> yeah. What, what's, what is that habitat? Uh, kind of, I'm imagining like it's the interior of like a mock Tudor mansion. Yeah. Um, he's like a, a few sarongs pinned up around the walls. Yeah. yeah. Um, a, sp- a few Tottenham like posters. Because he's that's is he a Tottenham fan? Oh, I think he is. Um, yeah. and um, a, a tattooist on hand oh, whenever yeah. he needs Crucial. it. Yeah. Uh, and he's just that's his natural habitat. Okay. And he's got a table. Oh. A workbench, and he's got many different items on that workbench. Yeah. And he says to everyone through a megaphone. Oh. All right, lads. <laughs> it's a bit more. Hey, can I? Can you bend it like Beckham? And he takes an object mm. off the table. Mm. Be it. But it starts off easy. Cardboard. Yeah. Cardboard. Oh yeah, yeah. Cardboard. And he bends it. So when you're in your bird hide, uh-huh. your Beckham hide, mm. you've got matching cardboard. You bend it. Yeah. There is a, a sensor Ooh. in the cardboard oh. in each object. If you can't bend it. Game over. Okay, you're out. Yeah, I think that's crucial. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, it's just like you're just sat in a bird hide trying to bend stuff. It gets harder and harder. Yeah. Next up, rubber. I say rubber next. Rubber. Yeah, rubber's, rubber's quite, quite easy. Bendy. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, anything, rubber's already in a, a, a bent, <laughs> a bent form. Yeah. Can yeah. you unbend it like yeah, that? Maybe no, you're correcting uh, the. No, uh, you can correct the bend. But mm. it's just it's it's mostly bending things. Yes. Until you get up to corrugated plastic, corrugated iron. I had a friend that liked to test whether a trainer was good enough, and I'd by not bending sure the what. sole. He liked bending it in half. Yeah, bending the sole. But most um, trainers uh, didn't bend that well, yeah. and so he would just you'd know where Chris had been because yeah. uh, you'd go up and the, <laughs> the shoe display <laughs> in you know JD Sports was yeah, absolutely was all, they're all in V shapes. Yeah, he destroyed I'd say a hundred pairs of shoes in our teenage years. Yeah, same with caps. If you bend yeah. a cap that's uh, from a market, it just turns into a V into oh, a, v. a V shape. Yeah, um, until yeah. Uh, you get to the hardest substance known to man, diamond. Can you bend diamond? Can you bend and and David Beckham. Can <laughs> he, he can bend Whoa. diamond? Yeah. How is it one diamond? Like a large it's diamond? A, it's a or diamond it, bar. Or diamond bar, like yeah. when you get sort of diamond tipped uh, drill bits. Yeah. Uh, yeah, diamond tipped bar. Yeah. yeah. So so he can bend that gold. He can bend. That would be an interesting yeah. one to bend. Gold's, gold. Gold. Gold's quite, quite soft. Sure. But, but many people are afraid of bending. Mm. Nemophobia is a fr- is a fear <laughs> of. Your knee bending backwards, that's a, a, a phobia. People yeah. have nemophobia. Yeah. So for them, blend it like Beckham. Oh. Where it's a smoothie store. Yeah. And uh, he gives a series of instructions of how to, to blend fruits and vegetables into a smoothie. Yes. The, uh, and you just have to follow him and pay for your smoothie at the end. Right. So there's a shop attached to the Corrugated Iron Peep Show. Uh, yes, it should probably hide. Yeah, so just to the side. Yeah, just to the side. So it's like bend it like Beckham, and then just a little blend it like blend it like Beckham. <laughs> smaller appendage. Yeah, um, selling smoothies. And then there's mend it like Beckham, which is just a small workshop <laughs> where you just have to mend different things. Well, we are short of a post office. Yeah. Uh, so could we also have send it <laughs> like Beckham? Yeah, you could. Because um, <laughs> you know we probably do want to sell some postcards, send m- memorabilia back. And could we also have Fend It Like Beckham? Yeah. Uh, where if you're being harassed by anybody, yeah. uh, we've got lots of kind of various street sellers in football mm. land. You know, mm. you've got running commentary. You didn't really want that. Your mum's bought you that. You yeah. thought that would be fun. Um, but you want to get rid of him. Yeah. You know, you've got sort of John Motson following you around. You're just like, oh, get up. So you go to Fend It Like Beckham and he just fends John Motson off for uh, yeah. the duration of your stay. It's uh, worth uh, the money. And, and of course, let's not forget, 
end it like Beckham, which is like a, a, a an animal euthanasia clinic. Yes. Where, um, you know, animals that uh, are towards the end of their life, you well, know. We've got lots uh, because they're, you the know, cats, we've got the, 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 the cats, dog on a pitch. Dog on the pitch. A uh, lot of animals will be, um, you know, it'll be their time through yeah. illness or old age. They uh, owners bring the animals mm. to a you know, the paying public, yeah. who then euthanize, put down, put to sleep the animal. Yeah. By... After watching a small introductory video by David Beckham himself, he demonstrates. Yeah, he sort of he does an impression of Alex Ferguson kicking a football boot yeah, into the to... neck of a dog, <laughs> and that's how you euthanize the animals. Yeah. you have to boot a dog in the head. From <laughs> I don't think about in the seven head. or eight. That's too much. I think boot boot a boot mm. in the in the head. Mm. And if you don't have a boot to boot, yeah. then you could go to Lend It Like Beckham. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> it's giving you Yeah. So you you go there if you want to end an animal's life. Yeah. Via in the end it like Beckham. Yeah. But you don't have the boot to end it like Beckham, so you've got to go and mm. lend it like Beckham. And, and afterwards, if you're feeling really sad and you maybe have an epiphany because it's been such an emotional experience, you want to change your career, mm. you could go to tend it like Beckham mm. and learn how to make cocktails and run yeah. a bar and yeah. change your life entirely. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. So there's plenty there. And it's a like a, a giant shopping mall mm. full of different mm. things that rhyme with end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, is that so, it? Yeah, that's it. That's, okay. that's the shopping mall. Um, oh, but yeah. it's got everything there that you need. It does. It's got a workshop. It's got a strongman booth. It's got a vet. Yeah. It's got post office. a post office. It's got a mixology school. It's got a mixology school. It's got a, bo- a, a lending library for boots. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got a smoothie store. It, crucially, because you need to keep up your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah your that's energy. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Well, there we are. That's uh, all in favour of the shopping mall. Yeah. Of bend it like Beckham. Mm. Say I. Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Uh, I. 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 Football. 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 Land. I've got something to propose that uh-huh. it's, it's crucial. Yeah. I've been trying to sort of have looked at the gaps in football land mm-hmm. um, and I'm trying to fill those gaps because we've gone big on rides. Yeah. But actually some of the boring stuff, some of the necessary stuff that we as responsible business people, business mm-hmm. r- runners yeah. uh, should have. Um, and this is simply, this is the the Mark Pukach uh, lost and found. Right. So it's not a toilet. Not a toilet. It's I not know, so, somewhere that catches your feces. No, it's not. And I know we got a yeah. bit toilety towards the end of season one. Yeah. This is not. So I've steered well away from that. Speaking of season one and two and that, it's it's yeah. it's it's amazing that it's only taken us till start of season two to have a ride or anything named after Mark Pugatch, <laughs> yeah. the radio presenter slash commentator. Yeah. Mm. He really should have been in season one. Yeah. I, yeah. We sort of let ourselves mm. down there. Um, basically, a lost and found is so essential to oh, think gosh, of. Yeah. Because people are having so much fun to kind of keep an eye on their belongings yeah. or, you know, their children. Mm. You know, you're just having a whale of a time. So... You know, what happens to all that stuff? Yeah. You know, that's where Mark Pugach comes in. Yeah. He's a very safe pair of hands. He really is. He really is. He spent the entire summer impressing me by kind of rescuing things, just as Gary Neville's about to kind of compare Gareth Southgate's, you know, team selection to, I don't know, Boris Johnson's uh, selection of the cabinet. Right. Mark Pugach comes straight in and he rescues him. Yeah. Let's vanilla this up, he says, yes. Mark Pugach. <laughs> He is very, very safe. Yeah. And so what better man than to be in charge of Football Land's Lost and Found? Mm. Now, you're always having fun at Football Land. It's always very gamified. Uh, we try and make, you know, stuff um, as difficult for people as possible. Uh, you know, try and really introduce the kind of theme of football in, into, into everything in Football Land. But this, I'm thinking... You don't want to go to a lost and found when you're when you're at you're at football land. So I think Mark comes to you, right? So, so I think Mark's got a little like one of those little festival trolleys, uh huh. Yeah, and he's just sort of you know walking around, picking up stuff. Yeah, you know when you see like a glove on the floor. Yeah, there, there were some days you go out and you see multiple things. Mm. You know, a shoe. Oh, yeah, 
You've, you finished with that shoe, have you? Uh, yeah. You know, there's a shoe, there's a glove, there's a sock. Sometimes yeah. you see a bit of hair. Yeah. A wig. Yeah. A wallet in a bin. A wallet in a bin. Yeah, with all the contents taken, but they've left the wallet and a photo yeah. of your loved one. I think that's theft. Yeah, no, that's more theft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and I'm not sure whether Mark's got time to be <laughs> <laughs> covering everybody in football land yeah. uh, to stop them from getting uh, stuff stolen. Yeah, it's not Minority Report. It's not. It's just a man with a festival trolley <laughs> yeah, picking yeah. up dis- discarded goods. Yeah. Um, but I think we should probably, to really use Mark's name to the full, mm. because people are always losing their shit in football land. They are. He has to catch it before it, it hits falls. the floor. <laughs> <laughs> wow. With his festival trolley. So hang on. Um, how is he How is he predicting who's going to lose their stuff and how is he getting there in time? Well... I think it's just, it seems to be a natural skill right? with with Mark. Yeah. He seems to sense stuff coming. So yeah. maybe it is a bit like Minority Report, but we don't know it. We yeah. Don't, no, we don't know the mystery. So he's of... got three naked triplets Possibly. in a pond. Yeah, maybe, in his house. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's got an indoor swimming pool. Yeah. Because he must have earned something oh, over yeah, the years. From ITV, I think he's, certainly. yeah, that contract alone probably would get yeah, him an indoor absolutely, swimming pool. Absolutely, yeah. And absolutely. He could... uh, and, he's, and he's filled it with amniotic fluid. Are there three footballers that we could use? What uh, you... th- well, um, Lee Carsley, Thomas Graveson, and uh, John Joe Shelby. They're all bald. Yes. I was more going for the triplet thing. They, <laughs> they could all... They could... I was... There was three... But had the hazards... There's three hazards. Yeah. We could shave them as long as they're shaved. If we shaved the three hazards. But, but imagine Lee Carsley in a pool predicting people losing their wallets. Yeah. And every now and then when he, you know, because so Lee Carsley, Thomas Graveson mm. and, and obviously John Joe in the pool of amniotic fluid and yeah. they're sleeping. Yeah. And like you can see their eyes twitching. Mm. And then suddenly uh, one of them leaps out of the water and gasps. <laughs> Mark Pugach yeah. runs in yep. and he looks into their eyes mm. and then he, I think he hooks them up to a screen, a projector screen. Yeah. And then it just plays. Yeah. <gasps> it's Mrs. Carsley. Yeah. No, too close to her name. <laughs> oh, it, it's Mrs. Featherbottom. <laughs> she's, she's just, she put her handbag down and oh, the kid's dropped an ice cream and she's got yeah. distracted. But the first three or four minutes of the revelation is just, <laughs> it's just footage of them playing against Swansea. And like, you've just got to get past that. It's like, all right, stop remembering your assists against, uh, against Swansea in 1998. Uh, and then you see, yeah, Mrs. Featherston, she's dropped, she's about yeah. to drop her handkerchief. <gasps> Mark Pugach has to, he he does all of that uh, moving stuff around, futuristic mm. futuristic computer. Yeah, he's, he he's, works out where it is going to be. He borrowed Andy Townsend's tactics, tactics truck, truck from uh, 1999 or whenever it was. He's rejigged it. It's now, yeah, it runs on it Mojave, yeah. the Mac operating system. Yeah. And uh, he he finds out where it is. Yeah. It's in the calf. It's in calf. The the calf. The calf. The calf. The plus. Yeah. Calf to plus. I'm getting calf to plus. There it is. And he and he's, he he sees that that's where the. the <laughs> <laughs> he, he sees. Oh yeah, it's by the crash bang ben, Benjamin Massing, and he, he's off. Yeah, he's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He, he quickly grabs his his festival trolley, mm. and it, and he almost uses it like a skateboard, like a micro scooter, yeah. sort of holding yeah. the hand yeah. on it, and kind of propels it, and that's how he gets there. Yeah, he races there as quickly as he possibly as, can, uh, as quickly as and it gets a bit him. awkward because there's just now a middle aged woman who's yeah. here at Football Land with her family. Yeah. And she's being followed very closely by Mark Pugach. Yeah, she's not dropped it yet. She's she hasn't like, why dropped is this it man, yet. Why is this man following me? Why is this man following with me? A with trolley. a festival trolley. festival trolley. Really closely. <laughs> Which, by the way, it's going to be very it's very, very difficult to catch anything in that because if it's at a lower height than the trolley, mm. he's going to have to upend it to try and get it underneath. What about one of those sort of uh, pump truck things that you get, like the like a forklift, but for humans? Yeah. And it's just got... Or like, or the board trolleys the in uh, yeah. B and Q yeah, slash uh, home base, where yeah. you're like, what do you even put on one of them? Yeah, like, like why have they got so many trolleys in mm. home base? Like they've got ten different types of they've trolleys. They've got that one that sort of yeah, you one that could you... only put glass on. Yeah, but you, there's no glass for sale. Like so, so luxurious at that place. Yeah. And no wonder, no wonder the interior of these places is just so run down. Mm. It's because they've spent all of their budget every year yeah. on different types of trolleys. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. There is a danger that that. He's got to be really quick because mm. it's gravity, isn't it? Gravity is is fast, mm. and so he's getting so close to Mrs. Featherbottom. Um, 
that he keeps hitting her ankles. Yeah, yeah. And as a result, I think that's how she drops the handkerchief. And you're not... Because <laughs> she's... So it's him that caused it every he time. He caused it. So and, that's, and that's the twist. Thomas the... Graveson is having these premonitions for no reason. For no reason. Like, he didn't need to be in the amniotic fluid. No, but, but that's it. And you'll <laughs> never know whether it was... Whether Graveson knew it, but, you know, just out of shot, yeah. th- there was Mark Pukach already with the... With the, va- with, <laughs> the with, with the board trolley hitting, a, hitting Mrs. Featherbottom's ankles. Oh, and that happens every time. Every single time it's a trolley. It's that's <laughs> banging into these, oh, these guests. Where's little Johnny gone? You know, and Mark's actually <laughs> already scooped him up and gotten distracted. And then there, there's, um, I mean, my only slight criticism of this is that the if he wasn't doing all of this and they just dropped something on the floor, it wouldn't matter that much. Lo- oh, like, no, I disagree. I think right. lost property, it's... It's a ball ache. Uh, no yeah. one knows where it is. No, and the admin mm, costs of running a lost and profound are higher than you think. Yeah, I just don't want any downers. Um, no. You don't want people to queue. You just want Mark Pugach to, uh, after he's apologised to you for smashing yeah. into your oh, ankles sorry with that. his trolley. <laughs> and he's got that funny look on his, on his face because he's really smug, really proud yeah, of himself because yeah, yeah. he's rescued. And But it's his secret. Yeah. He has to die with that secret. He, has he can't tell you, oh, I saved you there. And if he does, he has to kill you. Yes. I think we have to build in an element of insurance whereby how many people are we willing to let be killed by Mark Pugach? <laughs> I think Mark's... Over the course of a year, because he's accidentally <laughs> well, I, told them his secret. I think Mark's very, very above board. I think he's a, he's he's like Batman, you know. He's happy to keep that secret. Mm. So everybody thinks that he's a bad guy. Yeah. Going very... What's, why is Mark Pugach permanently at Fallland bump, bumping into people with his with his board trolley from being q But he just has to live with those yeah, bad headlines. Yeah, yeah. All those Twitter videos. Yeah. Everybody harassing him. Yeah. He has to just go back to his lair. <laughs> <laughs> feed Gravis, Thomas Graveson and John Joe Shelby. And Lee what they eat just like, like fish that he just tosses into the water? I think probably fish. It, yeah. Yeah. And, and they are tubed up, aren't they? They're like intubated. Um, yeah, but I still think they probably want to fish every now and then. Yeah, just to remember what it's like to eat. Yeah, and I think that if Mark ever did come out mm. and say, you know, this is the truth, yeah, you all just thought that I was <laughs> really short-sighted, <laughs> yeah. then I think we could maybe open up like a big window like in SeaWorld yeah. and you can come and watch <laughs> Lee Gasly. Not joke, shall we? <laughs> um, and Thomas Graveson in the amniotic fluid, um, and you can throw you can throw fish to them. Yeah, feeding, <laughs> feeding time, a bit like when the when they feed sort of little baby chicks to the otters uh, yeah. at, at Sea Life Centre. Yeah, you can yeah. just sort of th- throw them in, and I think and that would and they could do tricks. They're they probably could still do got, tricks. Yeah, you know, they've been lying in amniotic fluid for a while, but they've probably still got that that muscle memory that footballers oh. have. You know, when you have got like an out shaped footballer that yeah. you know scores ten in a friendly match. Absolutely, yeah, but they've so, still got their muscle memory they could, still know how to bat a ball around with yeah you could noses. toss a ball into yeah. the tank and they'd you know do kind of keep you up for a bit yeah. and um and then that, that's just like win 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay all yeah. right well, nothing to... gets lost you get to feed a footballer a fish yeah. and they also do a kind of little fun trick show yeah. for you yeah all right uh well i'm ready to vote on that okay all right then all those in favour of the Mark Poo catch lost and found um, say aye after three. Three, two, or one. Aye. aye. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Just what is it that you want to do? We want to go football land. And we want to have a good time. You know what we should probably say? Yeah. Which is, if you like Football Land, yeah. we were bad at this last year, weren't yeah. we? Last season, we yeah. didn't do this a lot. Yeah, uh, I know it's a given, maybe. Yeah. If yeah. You, but if you like Football Land, then maybe uh, tell your friends. Yeah. God. We had a cracking season one. Yeah. It was lovely. Yeah. But if you like it, yeah. share share it. Share it. Tell your friends. Yeah. And uh, because we like to grow it. Yeah. it's It was a nice size. I like it. The mm. size it 
It is, but that's not to say that... Yeah, it, it, it would, had a couple of inches. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit bigger. Yeah, yeah. But not surgically? No. Organically? Yeah, like if you were to just do a bit of fitness. Yeah. Not uh, necessarily like a, a gym. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do any gym routine. No. But if I were to do some push-ups in the oh, morning or... I don't know if that grows it, but... Uh, um, sit-ups? Yeah, maybe. Uh, Kettlebells? You can see it closer. Um, and um, we've got a special guest today. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not, you know, not standing in for Mark. No, no. Mark can never be no, no, substituted. No, 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 Mark, no, 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 Mark no, no, no. can no, never it's just be a special st- guest. stood in for. Yeah. It's a guest. Yeah. We've got a guest. We've got a guest. And what's his name? His name's Marek Larwood. His name is Marek Larwood. Uh, Marek Larwood, welcome back to Football Land HQ. Yes, um, back. You must be delighted to be back again. I've been looking forward to this before the podcast even came out. Yeah. Before yeah. it was even created. That's how much I mm. wanted to do this. This is the only yeah. time in my life I feel at home. And, and you pitched such a good spectacle last time, the yeah. hun- Hunger Games uh, with uh, former ex-professional football hard men, mm-hmm. uh, which we've tweaked uh, since, you know, we've tried to work yeah. out the logistics of it, it a keeping few them problems. fed. Uh, there was uh, sort of a slow... The, the, the old fighting to the death meant that it was sort of a... We did have a bit of a slow take-up initially. Um, but I know you were desperate to keep it fighting to the death. Yeah. And there would be, be no, no no lasers or, you know, kind of any artificial yeah, not kind of... Yeah, Yeah. It, it has to be... In many ways, it was more of a cull. Yeah. A humane cull. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what do you mean by humane? Because they were all killing themselves. Well, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Because it was a bit of fun. Well, it was a bit of it was a bit of fun for goodness sake, and, and nice for the children to see. Because let's not shield children from death. I think the earlier you subject them to it, the easier life is. It should be the very yeah. first thing they see, ideally, is when they come out of the mm. womb. Okay, all right. What have you got for us? Well, I mean, I'm a bit nervous because uh, the Premier League have just signed us off this morning, mm. and it's yeah. going revol- to revolutionise football. You've already been in touch with the Premier League. Uh, this has gone. This has all gone through. This has all gone right. not for for next season. Well, That's as great. you know, there's a big problem with uh, the spiralling of players' salaries. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. a lot of supporters feel angry. You know, they're having to pay. That's coming out of their pocket. Yeah, with mm. more expensive shirts, more expensive mm. season tickets. Yeah, sixty-five well, pounds for a shirt now. Well, yeah. it's not going to be that anymore because here is what's going to happen in football land next season. Okay. Every single player in the squad, yeah. every single player is given a base salary of £50,000. Yeah. Right. All the season ticket holders are placed in the stadium at football, football land. Yeah. yeah. So you've got that. Marina. Yeah, so there's, there's, there's you know twenty five thousand. Even you can have fifty, whatever they sold. Yeah, you do one team a day. Each player comes mm. on, and it's called Maim for a laugh. Maim for a laugh. <laughs> the yeah. it was going to be called something else, but I googled the word, and you definitely can't say it anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> Maim, Maim, Maim for a laugh. Is the new name the the current holding the holding plate sort of name? Yeah. yeah. Did right. you tell the Premier League the initial name that you can't say anymore? And that is is that what sparked? Oh, I mean, interest? they were more than happy with that name. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Just I bet Googled the it. FA cottoned on yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. So Gosh. what happens is the player. So it's Ronaldo, for example. Mm-hmm. Mm. He comes in. He's got fifty grand. Yeah. And the supporters have to decide how much he's worth by inflicting. Injuries upon themselves. Right. So, for example, for every time someone gets kicked in the balls, yeah, yeah, he gets an extra fifty or vagina. Let's not be. Yeah, let's yeah. get with the modern times. Let's be yeah. around both bushes. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <they're> sm- <laughs> <laughs> They'll get. He'll get fifty quid more. Right. Right. And then you go up to. Oh, right. That's quite low. Well, you That's can start off with a slap. Yeah, so it's quite low. There's a whole yeah. scale of things. 
So I've not right. worked out the cost yet. So you've got yeah. Well, in the I've balls. got a calculator here. How about I get a calculator up? And oh. uh, I'm just going to do fifty times fifty thousand. So if you get if he kicks if if everyone decides to kick themselves in the balls, but they get right? he's got to, ideally he'd go around and kick them all in the balls. If it was oh, fifty thousand, you'd have to get some more people in. You'd have to get some Man United staff to kick people in the balls. Yeah, some right. of the um, maybe some of the ball boys. Like you could call well, them that's ball a, boys. Yeah, that's what that that's two a... and a half million quid for Ronaldo. <laughs> If everyone in the stadium got kicked in the balls, if they, right. they have to agree with it, for him. they have to agree with it. The yeah, it's consensual. Why, so that's, that's where you start off a fifth, fifth kick in the balls. But remember, right. we're not just talking about Ronaldo; we're talking about the whole Man United squad are getting paid. Yeah, yeah, oh, right. So right. you've got four. We're big squads, forty players. You want to get kicked in the yeah. balls? If you, each one of them gets fifty quid, <laughs> you're going to get kicked in the balls forty times. <laughs> Yeah. So there's not going to be much left of your balls. And, he, and these ball boys will be going for it. Yeah, of course they will. Because mm. they want to, you know, impress the manager. Yeah. Yeah. I thought of doing a very low level one with a slap in the face. It's just a quid. Well, how much would a slap in the face be? A quid. A quid. That's quid. the bottom one. A quid. Yeah. Slap in the face, quid. Chinese burn, two quid. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we go, I, I need some of your help. The FA have said to me, listen, we need to get this pricing down, so put it out there. I told them I was coming on this, and they said, ask the boys, right. get some prices down. Cost it up. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. cost it up. Wrap so, on the knuckles. That's it. Let's just go and kick in the balls. I think wrap on the knuckles. That's, we'll, we'll go slap in the face, Chinese burn, then it goes straight to kick in the balls. Right, so yeah. You, really yeah, you don't, yeah, let's not mess about, and let's not, you know, let's get in there. So are we looking for things that are more expensive? Yeah, so basically it goes to then, to self then a kick in the balls. Self sacrifice. Oh, you agree. Right. Well, let's work our way up to it. First of all, a tip, <coughs> a tip of a finger. So you tip, you lose the tip of your finger. Mm. Oh, oh, so your little finger. Oh, yeah, okay. I reckon that's a hundred quid. I think it's gonna be more like two fifty. That tip of your finger's gone. It's gone forever. Oh, okay. At the right. knuckle. Yeah, and then or first just to the, the top, top knuckle. knuckle. Top knuckle. Uh, top knuckle. So not like a slicing kitchen injury. No, it's gone. Right. Right. Uh, and the little finger. Yeah. Two, 250 quid. Two, two, yeah, 250 quid. Losing a whole hand, I reckon, is about 10 grand. Yeah. Hand for 10 grand, that's what they say. That's going to be the phrase. It's hand good if they run hand for 10 grand. And it will be sort of like a badge of honour for some people. Like, oh, I helped I helped mm. secure the services of Ronaldo. Yeah. Leg, amputa- leg amputation, fif- 50 grand. 50 grand. Did you get this idea from he? Oh, he cost an arm and a leg. Was that where this started? No, but I think that is a good point. An arm and a leg would be. Yeah. I reckon you can say that is two hundred and fifty grand. Yeah, and uh, both arm and yeah, two two fifty. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like just going to calculate that fifty thousand times two hundred and fifty grand. I mean, it doesn't come. It doesn't even come up on my calculator. It's one point two five e ten. Well, you think that's only for a, this is only salary for a season. So once you <laughs> you really want someone to save their arms and legs for other seasons. But the good thing is, is there oh, is yeah. the more limbs. This is why the football side will go for it in the end. The more limbs the the uh, people get, their fans get cut off. The more they be able to fit in the stadium. Yeah, <laughs> double yeah. capacity in a lot of stadiums because there'll be hardly any of the fans left. And also, it would be quite nice when you see the the fans. During the season, mm. and you'd see like a load mm. of people there with just like no ears, and you know heart, yeah. and just yeah. basically just heads, just heads being <laughs> kept alive in in goldfish bowls. <laughs> and you say, "Oh, he's a real give- fan. He's a real fan. He deserved that goal. <laughs> That's for him." Yeah, it's a level yeah. above season ticket holder, isn't it? Now, I guess, and it gives commentators something to talk about. Oh, you know, there's the ca- you know camera whips to the stand, and you've got all these different people with bits missing. Yeah. Yeah, look at this, John. He's yeah, he multiple as well. That that's another thing because what if you did bits over different seasons? It'd be nice if they replaced yeah. it with different coloured like uh, like wristbands when you go into a you know a, a, swimming, pool. a swimming pool at different times and they're like right blues different, out yeah, yeah. different so we, colour we could give people like a blue ear for first year mm. like a red finger finger for the second year. And so it's like, so we can sort of tell the story of their sacrifice. And it's going to also... Story of the sacrifice would be a good name for it. Also, what it does is is it takes away a lot of the stigma for people who are missing limbs and things like that already. Mm. So it's inclusive. Mm. Mm. 
but but that makes an inclusive. awkward conversation when they've lost a limb for another reason. It's like, oh, who did you? Was that for Luke Shaw? He's like, no, no, that was. Uh, I was born without uh, without a finger. Oh yeah, so you say, all right. Yeah. Well, you could call yourself a fan. <laughs> a bit disappointed. <laughs> Football's ruined. <laughs> Football's ruined for, everything. Yeah, the game's it? gone. My only concern with this one, and it is it's my <coughs> only concern, um, is that is this going to require sort of a greater fan organisation for them to get together to sort of go right? Well, and when we when clubs get into bidding wars and they go to the club, you know, uh, with a with an offer of we're going to give you a uh, hundred legs. Um, We've got 55 arms. Uh, we've had to sign up for 100,000 slaps. Uh, it's it's quite a lot of, there's going to be a lot of accountancy involved, fan organisation to kind of go, you know, right, Margaret, come on, you've got to go for the full, both legs and both arms, Yeah. you know, because you're older, you don't, you're not using them anyway. Right. Uh, not really. Uh, that's a lot of organisation. That's what the fan committees are for, though, isn't it? That's what the AGMs. This for. is you've got twenty teams doing this. Yeah, yeah. twenty sell out. I think how much this will sell. This will possibly be bigger than football. Yeah. Mm. How much would you pay to watch a day of bidding of Man United <laughs> fans cutting their own arms off, getting kicked in the balls <laughs> forty times, <laughs> slapped around the face as Chinese burns, all so they can mm. have. Um, <laughs> Anthony Marshall <laughs> for another season <laughs> clubs would really think about their squads I mean uh, squads are bloated look at Chelsea yeah you know, they stockpile players it would mean that you've got you know Danny Drinkwater what, he wouldn't be on the books no uh, great alright well I think uh, I think we're ready to vote on that yeah uh, I think we're going to go working title main for a laugh yeah um, and then if we can think of another title to replace it uh, then we will but Maim for a laugh. I don't, I don't know what the laugh is. Well, not really a laugh. It's all right. Name. All in favour yeah. of Marit Lawrence's uh, Maim for a laugh, say aye. Three, two, one. Aye. 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 Congratulations, Marit. Well done. Great. <laughs> So oh, that was uh, that was another episode that of was football. Another, uh, yes, and yeah. that was quite quite an episode. Quite an episode. Quite it an episode. Was, uh, it happened. Chocker. It certainly happened. Yeah, yeah. I like Marek's thing is going to cause a couple of problems. Yeah, yeah, it's an issue. But uh, you know, I don't have to actually put the wheels in motion. We give that all to Mark. To, to Mark. Yeah. yeah. Good luck, Mark. That's, yeah, that's his thing for not being here. Yeah. Talk to you next time. Oh, Bye. 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 Bye.